Math 5 Quarter 2 Week 8 Milk Base Let's learn about Ratio using either the colon or fraction Lesson 1 Hello kids, it's me, Teacher Frel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and hit the notification bell for the latest video. You can also follow my Facebook page, Teacher Frel TV. Welcome back kids! For today's lesson in Math 5, we will discuss about ratio using either the colon or fraction. After going through this lesson, you are expected to Express ratio using either the colon or fraction. Ratio deals with comparison of two items. For example, two dogs to three cats or two is to three. The trick with ratios is to always multiply or divide the numbers by the same value. Look at the illustration below. What can you say about the number of books and the number of pupils? In this case, we can say that there are 4 books for every 8 pupils. We can also express this sentence using colon. We can write this as... 4 is to 8 or in lowest term 1 is to 2 meaning 1 book for every 2 students It can also be expressed in fraction as 4 is to 8 or simply 1 is to 2 We can use the greatest common factor or GCF in simplifying the given ratios of fractions Study the chart below for number 1, the given ratio is 3 is to 6 and the terms are 3 and 6. The greatest common factor or GCF between the terms is 3. Now divide the terms by their GCF. First, divide the first term. 3 divided by 3 equals 1. And now divide the second term. 6 divided by 3 equals to 2. Now, the values of the ratio in lowest term is 1 is to 2. The second given ratio is 9 is to 27. And the terms are 9 and 27. The greatest common factor or the GCF between the terms is 9. Now, divide the terms by their GCF. The first term is... 9 divided by 9 equals to 1. And the second term is 27. 27 divided by 9 equals to 3. Now, the values of the ratio in lowest term is 1 is to 3. The third given ratio is written in fraction. 72 is to 8. The terms are 72 and 8. The greatest common factor or GCF between the terms is... 8. Now, divide the terms by their GCF. 72 divided by 8 equals to 9. 8 divided by 8 equals 1. Now, the values of the ratio in lowest term is 9 is to 1. And for the last given ratio is 15 is to 9. The terms are 15 and 9. The greatest common factor between the terms is 3. Now divide the terms by their GCF. 15 divided by 3 equals to 5. And 9 divided by 3 equals to 3. Now the values of the ratio in lowest terms is 5 is to 3. Now let us do learning task 1. Express each ratio of the first quantity to the second quantity and reduce to its simplest form. Number 1. 2 teachers to 46 pupils. Write this in ratio using colon. The ratio for this is 2 is to 46. 
The terms are 2 and 46. The GCF between the terms is 2. Now, divide the terms. 2 divided by 2 equals 1. And 46 divided by 2 equals 23. Now, the lowest term is 1 is to 23. Or in fraction is 1 is to 23. Number 2. 21 garbage cans to 14 classrooms. In ratio, this is 21 is to 14. The terms are 21 and 14. The GCF between the terms is 7. Now, divide the terms. 21 divided by 7 equals 3. And 14 divided by 7 equals 2. Now, the lowest term is... 3 is to 2 or in fraction 3 is to 2 Number 3 36 glasses of juice to 30 sandwiches In ratio this is 36 is to 30 The terms are 36 and 30 The GCF between the terms is 6 Now divide 36 divided by 6 equals 6 and 30 divided by 6 equals 5. Now, the lowest term of 36 is to 30 is 6 is to 5. Or in fraction, 6 is to 5. Number 4. 12 flowers to 4 vases. In ratio, this is 12 is to 4. The terms are 12 and 4. The GCF between the terms is 4. Now divide. 12 divided by 4 equals 3. And 4 divided by 4 equals 1. Now the lowest term of 12 is to 4 is 3 is to 1. Or in fraction, 3 is to 1. And number 5, 4 books to 10 pupils. The ratio is 4 is to 10. The terms are 4 and 10. The GCF between the terms is 2. Now divide. 4 divided by 2 equals 2. And 10 divided by 2 equals 5. Now, the lowest term of 4 is to 2 is 2 is to 5. Or in fraction, 2 is to 5. Now, let's move to learning task 2. Find the ratios of the time spent for the different activities. In the first column, we see AJ's daily activities. And in the second column are the number of hours. In exercise, AJ spent 1 hour a day. In sleep, she spent 8 hours a day. In school, she spent 8 hours a day. In studying and doing assignments, she spent 3 hours. Recreation, she spent 2 hours. Meals and personal hygiene, she spent 2 hours. And other activities, she spent 2 hours. Now, write the ratio of the following. Number 1. Sleeping to a whole day. In sleeping, she spent 8 hours. And in one day, we have 24 hours. So the ratio of sleeping to a whole day is 8 is to 24. To get the lowest term, find the GCF of 8 and 24. So the GCF of 8 and 24 is 8. Now, divide. 8 divided by 8 equals 1. And 24 divided by 8 equals 3. The lowest term of 8 is to 24 is 1 is to 3. Or in fraction, 1 is to 3. Number 2. Studying to the time for recreation. In studying, she spent 3 hours and in recreation, she spent 2 hours. So the ratio is 3 is to 2 or in fraction, 3 is to 2. Number 3. School time to a whole day. In school, she spent 8 hours a day. The ratio is 8 is to 24. 24 is hours in one day. The GCF between the terms is 8. 
Now, divide the terms. 8 divided by 8 equals 1, and 24 divided by 8 equals 3. Now, the lowest term of 8 is to 24 is 1 is to 3, or in fraction, 1 is to 3. Number 4. Time for other activities to the time for meals and personal hygiene. She spent 2 hours for the other activities. And she spent 2 hours for meals and personal hygiene. So the ratio is 2 is to 2. The GCF is 2. Now divide. 2 divided by 2 equals 1. And 2 divided by 2 equals 1. The lowest term of 2 is to 2 is... 1 is to 1, or we can write this in fraction. 1 is to 1. And for number 5, exercising to sleeping. So the ratio is 1 is to 8, or in fraction, 1 is to 8. And for learning task 3, write the following ratios to lowest terms. Number 1, 20 wins to 35 games. In ratio, this is 20 is to 35. The terms are 20 and 35. The GCF between the terms is 5. Now divide. 20 divided by 5 equals 4. And 35 divided by 5 equals 7. The lowest term of 20 is to 35 is 4 is to 7 or in fraction, 4 is to 7. Number 2. 12 red balls to 96 blue balls. The ratio is 12 is to 96. The terms are 12 and 96. The GCF between the terms is 12. Now divide. 12 divided by 12 is 1. And 96 divided by 12 equals 8. The lowest term is 1 is to 8. Or 1 is to 8. Number 3. 250 centimeter to 20 meter. In ratio, 250 is to 20. The terms are 250 and 20. The GCF is 10. Now divide. 250 divided by 10 equals 25. And 20 divided by 10 equals 2. The lowest term is 25 is to 2. Or in fraction, 25 is to 2. Number 4. What is the ratio of the letter A to all the letters in the word mathematics? In mathematics, there are two letter A's and there are 11 letters in the word mathematics. So the ratio is 2 is to 11 or in fraction, 2 is to 11. And number 5. What is the ratio of Saturday and Sunday to the days in a week? There are 7 days in a week. Saturday and Sunday are 2 days. The ratio is 2 is to 7. Or in fraction, 2 is to 7. So kids, do you understand our lesson for today? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learn a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!